Ah, Jason's new video's out. <laughs> 1,161 subs. Ha! Oh, you got like 1,100 more than me. What can I say? I don't know, what can you say? I have more than you. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think of me now, Josh? <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to the 300 and... Mother... What's up, guys? Jason Mother Magician here, and welcome back to another 365 day number 13. <laughs> that was my friend Josh there. I told Josh before he watched yesterday's video to make sure that he turned his camera on and recorded his reaction. And he did not disappoint, but then he went on to say some really nice stuff about how I was the best magician he had ever seen, and how he wishes he was even like close to how good I was. It was all it was all very nice of him. He didn't have to do that, but he but he did anyway. <laughs> Hey. Anyway guys, all jokes aside though, today I'm going to be sharing with you something of a classic once again. Only this trick is so, so like secret that like nobody knows it. I swear I've never seen anyone else perform this except for the guy who taught me street performing, James Hessler. You know, I talk about him a lot, but I've never actually shown you who he is. This is a photo of him. And I'm going to leave a link to his viral video on YouTube in the description below. So you can definitely check that out and see what he's all about. I'm super excited because we've also now cracked 1,700 followers, which is massive. That's 200 since yesterday's video, which is insane. So thank you guys. I really appreciate all of you being a part of this journey. And I can't wait to keep sharing with you another 365 days of magic. It's a lot of days, man. <laughs> hey. On another note there guys, that card competition is fierce. If you guys want a chance to win these cards, make sure that you head on to the previous video for day number 12 and watch the conditions. Also watch the video. You know what, just watch them all. Watch them from day one through. <laughs> But anyway guys, if you're new to this channel, make sure that you subscribe if you're not already, like this video and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss anything. Here I am slaving over a hot deck of cards daily. The least you could do is watch. Today's trick is something of a classic, like I said before, and I'm talking classic, classic, classic. In fact, I'm willing to bet that nobody, you know what, I'm just going to roll the stinger and let's do a magic trick. So here it is, a trick so old I guarantee that none of you have ever even seen or heard of it before. And it falls into the realm of like some of the most difficult sleight of hand, because it's just so abstract. But I think you'll enjoy it, check it. Three cards with the centers removed, other than that they are solid rings, I guess. If I stack them on top of each other like this so you can see, all I have to do is blow, and the cards will link together as if by magic. There is a way to get them apart, you just blow again. There it is, and it just melts right through. Now, to relink them once more, you just touch them together and they just link instantly. And then the only way to unlink them at this point is if you tear a little hole in the cards. And that way, there's no evidence for anyone to ever know how you did the trick. And then what you do is you restore the tears, just like this, and you get trick number two. <laughs> and now these are completely solid little circles again. And that, my friends, is Paul Harris's Immaculate Connection. Anyway, there it is, guys. Paul Harris's Immaculate Connection. It's such a well-rounded trick, and it's impromptu. You can borrow the cards, and then you can't give them back, obviously, because they'll be destroyed. <laughs> but the trick itself looks incredible. I have this, like, fascination with card tricks that, that tear cards. And I don't know why. I just find that, like, pick a card magic trick, like, a little too generic for me, and I don't find them all that entertaining. Taking it, tearing it up, restoring it piece by piece, taking it and having it appear in an impossible location. These sorts of things really get my motor running. <laughs> As I was thumbing through the comments this morning, I can't help but notice that I must have, hands down, the most amazing followers on a YouTube because I don't have a single hate comment. All of you guys are just so polite and you're so friendly. That to me is amazing. You guys are like the best community in the world. And I want to continue to make the best quality content that I can. So you'll have to forgive me if the quality dips a little bit. Making a magic trick every day, not an easy task. And I'm still trying to maintain this open monologue with you. So every time you guys comment, I make an active effort to try and reply to all of you. However, the comments are starting to pile up now. I'm starting to get more than I expected. 
uh, especially this early on, don't stop commenting. I love hearing from you and I will do my best to get back to you. However, if it's a little bit late, maybe a day late or two days late or something, now you understand, right? <laughs> but anyway guys, with all that aside, I really hope you enjoyed today's trick and I look forward to seeing all you guys tomorrow for day number 14, our two week anniversary. Two weeks of doing a magic trick every single Hey. Nah, seriously, I love it, man. It's so much fun for me. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow.